Hello students, welcome back to my channel and uh, in today's class we are discussing about materials used in daily life. Okay, materials used in daily life. Uh, actually we are discussing this chapter based on the syllabus of Nepal board, SEE board, grade 10. So, what type of materials are used in daily life? Cement, glass, ceramics, fiber, plastic, soap and detergent, pesticides, fertilizers. Okay? Cement, glass, ceramics, fiber, plastic, soap and detergent, pesticides and fertilizers. So, in today's class, we will be discussing mainly about cement, definition, raw material, slurry, cement clinker, rotary kiln, gypsum, CaSO4.2H2O, mortar, concrete and RCC. Dear students, can you say the definition of cement? What is cement? Cement is defined as the homogeneous mixer of calcium silicate. The homogeneous mixer of calcium silicate and calcium aluminate okay the homogeneous mixture of calcium silicate and calcium aluminate is called cement very simple thing the chemical compounds present in cement are calcium silicate and calcium aluminate and it is a gray powder Cement is a grey powder which solidifies quickly when added to water or when water is added to cement then it hardens quickly becomes hard. Eh? Students what are the raw materials what is needed to make cement to make cement we need limestone and special type of clay, special type of clay. Limestone, it is CaCO3, calcium carbonate, and special type of clay, it is Al2SiO3, Al2SiO3. So, When we have got limestone and special type of clay, from that mixer we can make cement. And while making cement, we have to make slurry. What to make? Slurry. So, what is slurry? Students, in your house, do they make uh, sometimes? Sail roti or not? Sail roti. How do they make sail roti? To make sail roti, they just take some rice flour and add water in it. And the mixer can move slowly. That is slurry. But to make bread, then they just mix wheat flour with water, but the mixture is a bit hard, that is called dough. Dough cannot move easily, but slurry can move or flow easily. So, while manufacturing cement, first of all, calcium carbonate and special type of clay, Al2, O3 
Al2 SiO3 they are taken they are mixed together ground ground means they are converted to smaller pieces and powdered why are they powdered so that they can mix with water calcium carbonate and special type of clay are aluminum silicates uh, they are taken and they are mixed they are ground by using machine powder is formed that powder is actually aluminum silicate that is the cement Al2O3 that SiO2 this is a special type of clay Al2O3 dot SiO2 so when they are mixed together ground in the machine then it becomes powder that powder form of mixer is kept in water and slurry is made means the mixer can flow from higher level to lower level afterwards that slurry is heated in a device called rotary cane rotary cane then where the temperature is very high due to heating of that slurry in rotary cane small red balls of calcium silicate and calcium aluminates are formed small red balls of red balls of calcium silicate <coughs> and calcium aluminate when that slurry is passed through rotor kiln and is heated at very high temperature near about 2000 degrees centigrade then small red balls of calcium silicate and calcium aluminate are formed and those red balls are called cement clinkers at the beginning they are red because of high temperature but when they cool then they become gray in color and when the cement clinker is crossed when the cement clinker is crossed then we get cement powder simply that is the thing and students i have mentioned here one thing gypsum so in cement they add one chemical caso4 dot 2 h2o calcium sulfate hydrated calcium sulfate is gypsum so 2 to 3 percent 2 to 3 percent gypsum is added to cement why to increase setting time to increase setting time means uh, the cement does not change into solid very quickly when calcium sulfate is added when gypsum is added so that we can give uh, the correct shape to some objects some things etc so and um, by the use of gypsum the setting time increases and the quality of cement also becomes high otherwise it will be low quality cement students now here are three more terms uh, what are they mortar next one is concrete and next one is uh, rcc mortar concrete and rcc okay what is mortar do you know mortar it is the mixer of it is the mixer of sand cement and water mixer of sand cement and water is called mortar so mortar is used for plastering purposes it is for plastering it is used for making 
walls or we can say for joining bricks mortar is used sand mixture of sand cement and water next one is concrete what is concrete it is also mixture of mixture of uh, sand but a bit big size sand cement water and in concrete there are pebbles small pieces of stones are used in concrete so concrete is used for making those what to say um, statues or is also used for making bridges etc in rcc what is the full form of rcc reinforced cement concrete reinforce cement concrete means rcc is concrete plus there is iron while doing roofing roofing means the dhalan you know dhalan during that time that dhalan is called rcc dhalan because there is concrete as well as iron and can you say some of the cement factories of nepal some of the cement factories of nepal are jagadamba cement factory Udaipur cement factory, Hetamura cement factory, Maruti cement factory, Breeze cement factory, many more are there. So, in today's class, we discuss something about one material that is used in our daily life that is cement. And next day, we will be continuing remaining glass, ceramics fiber, plastic, soap and detergent, pesticides and fertilizers. So today 